On several different occasions on Cow-Calf Corner, we have visited with you about the importance of cows being in good body condition at calving in order to expect a good rebreeding season following that particular calving season. Well, it's also important that we maintain that body condition that are on those cows at calving into and through the breeding season. You see, there's research done here at Oklahoma State University that has looked at what happens if we do not maintain that good body condition. In this particular graphic, you'll see where some cows were fed to maintain the body condition they were in at calving into the breeding season and had an excellent breed up of about 94%. Their counterparts that were allowed to lose a full body condition score lost about 21% in terms of their pregnancy rates or down to around 73%. As we go into this late winter, spring period time, especially on native pastures, it's difficult to maintain body condition because of the appearance of some of the winter annuals, the first green grass that these cows have seen since last September and October and they're very tempted to continue to try to uh, eat those grasses even though there's not enough energy density, they're very high in moisture and there's just not enough of them. That allows those cows to lose that body condition. I think the answer is to do the best we can in terms of maintaining the presence of a high quality roughage if it's in the form of hay and our supplement program for those cows as we go into late winter and early spring to maintain that body condition. Certainly there's some cost involved with that feed, but we must remember that we cannot afford to lose one-fifth of next year's calf crop. So let's do what we can to maintain body condition between calving, going into the breeding season, and we'll be happier with our breed up next fall. Hey, I'll visit with you again next week on Sunups, Cow-Calf Corner.